Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG on the daily and weekly time frame. So PCLN seeing correlation with the market. Very strong day on Friday for all markets. And PCLN following along, breaking the lower high, lower low pattern and attempting to try and turn things around. Anything under 1876 is a lower high. So keeping an eye out for a potential bearish entry, although playing a, a name like PCLN, it has a very clear bearish pattern, which I do like for the bears. But when you're playing against the overall market that's in so much strength at all-time highs, it really is a disadvantage to do that. So even though it's a bearish setup and I, I don't like it bullish, that might be mean to move on and find a, a bullish name that's following the correlation to the overall market and then waiting for you know significant consolidation on the market to make plays like PCLN because PCLN was a really nice play once we broke 1836 and we dropped down $30 but then the market bulls showed up and hit all-time highs a couple days in a row and we did not see much further downside from there so the weekly time frame on PCLN is trying to form a higher low and for the weekly to shift the trend back for the bulls we have to break 1883 to see a higher low and then a higher high with a complete recovery so NVDA on the daily time frame Middle Bollinger Band support is ascending. 174.23 is that level. And we're looking at resistance, the high of Friday, but it was a bullish break after getting very, very tight. We had the gap up open and the bulls held on strong. 179.93, or actually 179.73, and then 182.70 is the next resistance level. And there's also a gap up here at 184.21 to be keeping an eye on. So the weekly chart is trying to hold on to these exponential supports, and right now it's doing a good job. That was a really a healthy weekly candlestick, not really seeing much follow-through from the bearish reversal candlestick previously, not really seeing much follow-through at all. So the bulls in full control of NVDA weekly chart and just watching to see if we can turn things around now that the bulls did get that momentum break. And it was an upgrade, I believe, the reason for that break to end last week. Tesla. Weak bounce attempt at this point. There's a potential for a bear flag as we are rejecting from exponential resistance. Two indecision candlesticks in a row. Not the kind of significant follow-through candlestick the bulls were looking for on Friday to confirm the doji from Thursday. So have to still be cautious. The hourly chart has shifted from lower highs and lower lows to higher lows and higher highs. But if we can't see a more significant move over these exponential resistances, we have to be cautious of the couple day bounce before continuation down for the bears. And the weekly time frame lost the middle Bollinger Band support after holding it seven times in the last few months. So that's significant. And if we cannot regain that level, it's going to begin leveling out and then descending. And it will potentially act as a a significant resistance because it was significant support for so long. So this is definitely a red flag for the Tesla longer term bulls. There's plenty of support in this area. Just looking back at July and August, the supports established on the way up, but we do need to be cautious overall because this is an indication of more weakness on the weekly chart that we've seen in all of 2017, losing that support level. Netflix is still struggling at the exponential resistance. We have rejected three days in a row from these levels. 183.34 is the level to break. We came 44 cents shy of that level on Friday, setting a lower high. So the range right now is 179.36 support and 183.34 resistance. Break 183.34 and the bulls start to recover like most of the other tech sector. The rest of the tech sector is doing. And if we see a bear break of 179.36, we're going to be looking down at the low of the move of last week. And the weekly chart to continue following through with this this equilibrium pattern with our high low lower high and we're looking to form a higher low the bulls want that higher low to be at 176.55 but we're not convinced of that just yet because that daily chart is rejecting from exponential resistance cmg on the daily pretty significant bear day on friday we had an inside bar clear bear break at 312 so a nice 
bare signal, but we were looking for the Bulls to form a higher low compared to the middle Bollinger band. As soon as 312.11 broke, that meant step back. We have to wait further because the Bulls are not establishing this higher low yet and the Bears are still in control. So we're looking down now towards 300 psychological. We are still anticipating a higher low to be set because we did break the lower high pattern on the daily and then the 50-day moving average resistance will be key once we do form that higher low. But at this point, we need a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame to be confident that a higher low is going to be set. The weekly time frame, also not giving confidence to the Bulls. Big rejection from the exponential resistances and now this weekly chart could be a potential bear flag that we have to be keeping an eye on so the bulls have to hold support and get over these exponential resistances for this bounce to have any kind of follow through or significance so definitely a bearish end to the week for cmg but watching to see if the bulls are going to be able to get over these exponential resistances and if they will be able to see a bit of upside and get back towards that 50-day moving average resistance that rejected to the high, the high of the bounce attempt at this point. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in throughout the week, and I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday.